everybody, Pastor Teresa here from the Miller United Methodist Church. Thanks for coming and joining me for children's time today. If you were here on Tuesday, I am wondering if you had a chance to put your worry stone together. Did you paint or decorate it with markers or crayons or stickers or whatever? I hope you've got one. I'm carrying mine in my pocket. Remember we talked about when when things get scary or we start to get worried or anxious, we can take our worry stone and we can rub on it and put all that nervous energy onto our rock. So I hope you've got yours all done and I hope you're carrying it with you whenever you wherever you go. I wanted to, to keep going with our Easter story today. Remember uh, on Tuesday we talked about when, when Jesus rose from the grave and he saw the women uh, who had come to visit the tomb and he told them don't be afraid well today I want to share one of the next stories in in the Bible um, and that one is it's from, from one and it's chapter 20 now if you remember <clears throat> on Easter morning only the women had gone to the tomb to find Jesus the men, all of the disciples, were still back in town, huddled in the house. Well, that day, later that day, Jesus showed up at the house. Now, they, they were behind locked doors. They were scared because they were worried that the same people who had arrested and crucified Jesus would maybe come after them. But then, all of a sudden, Jesus was in the room. He hadn't knocked, he hadn't come through the door, he was just there. And he said, peace be with you, don't be afraid. And they thought at first that Jesus was a ghost or that they were seeing things or something, but they got up and they touched his hands and they, they held him and they could feel that he was real. And you know, sometimes when we're scared, the best thing in the world is a hug. Just that comfort of, of mom or dad or grandma or grandpa or a friend just, just wrap it makes you feel safe and warm and cared for. There's just nothing better to make you feel calm than a hug. But you know, right now when, when everybody is, is having to stay in their own homes, I think about those people who live alone, who don't have anybody with them to give them a hug if they're scared or lonely or sad. So I have another project for you to do today. Now it's gonna take some help from, from mom or dad or big brothers and sisters, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna send hugs. They could take this, they could wrap your arms around them and they could have a hug. So the first thing you're going to do is to cut out a heart. And you can see I've got a pink piece of paper here and I cut out a heart and I wrote on it, sending you a hug. Now you could put any message you want on there. You could put, I love you, I miss you. You could sign your name, anything. And then you could make this out of another color paper and then you could trace your hand and cut those out. And I just taped it all together to make a hug that you can send in the mail. Now, of course, it's not going to fit in, in your regular size envelope. And put it into a But then you could mail these. Maybe you could mail them to grandma and grandpa if they live far away. Maybe there's a friend or a teacher. Maybe it's just someone else, a friend, who doesn't live in your house, who you miss a lot, who you could send a hug to. Maybe you know someone who lives in the nursing home or an assisted living who doesn't have a lot of family with them. Someone who lives alone. Send them a hug. I wonder how many hugs you can send out this week. Would you have mom or dad help you? so that we can all be like Jesus when he, when he came scared and he said, peace be with you. 
And then he let them hold his hands, wrap him in a hug, so that they could feel safe and know that Jesus was with them. Hug. Feels that Jesus is with them too. Just from you. They're from Jesus too. I hope that you will be a good friend this week and to someone who needs it. You guys have a hugs, finish up your worry stones if you haven't done that yet, and I'll see you back here on Tuesday. Bye-bye.